Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be taking you through our laundry. So I'm going to be showing you how I do all the storage solutions and how I organize that room. I do get asked a lot about how I organize some of the cleaning products I keep in there and just basic laundry stuff in general. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them below in the comments and I'll make sure I answer them. Now, before I get started, I know a lot of us do tend to store some random items in the laundry. Like with us, we store a lot of our cleaning products in there and stuff for literally our dog. I'll show you guys literally what we have in our laundry and how we store it. And I hope you guys enjoy. Before I get stuck into this room, um, when we built this house, we had to choose between having a separate toilet and no walk-in pantry or a walk-in pantry and then share obviously the toilet with the laundry. So I obviously chose the walk-in pantry. So yeah, ours also has a toilet in it. It hasn't bothered us at all having to come into the laundry to go to the loo, um, it's been fine. So yeah, just so you know, that's basically our situation here, but we're happy with it and it works fine. This laundry is a massive upgrade from our old houses that we used to live in. Um, the laundry used to actually be in our garage in the last two houses we lived in. So it's been really nice to have a proper room that's designated for laundry. I find um, I'm a lot more on top of it as well. Whereas in the old house, cause it was kind of hidden away, I'd literally forget to do the washing and it would just pile up. But now I'm always on top of it most of the time. Um, yeah, so it's really, really good. Anyway, I'll get into it. So here is our laundry. So yeah, it's a pretty decent size. For me, it was super important to have a lot of um, cupboard space. You guys are probably wondering why there's a random mirror on the floor. I'm actually just about to hang this up. This is from a family love tree. And so I'm gonna be popping that up on this wall above the toilet. Because this is a powder room too, it would be good to have a mirror in here. But yes, basically this is it. Pretty simple. I'll start over here. We've got our front loader inbuilt under the bench here. We eventually might put a dryer on top as well, but because we are still changing nappies, I really needed this space for that. So obviously Willow is in the next probably year, I won't have to do it anymore, but this is just a little bub's nest um, change mat that I pop on there, which was I thought was a lot easier than doing it on the floor. So once she's out of nappies, we can get rid of that. Um, over here, so this is the little label coat laundry set and I absolutely love it. So in here, we've got your washing powder, nappy sand and then your fabric softener up the back. Before Little Label Co had this, I used to use some Ikea jars, which had a cork lid, but um, I found with the fabric softener, it got a bit gross. So this is really good because it's actually stainless steel, so it doesn't get gross from the softener. So yeah, and it comes with like a little scoop and it just looks, and it just looks really cute. Yeah, I'll give you guys the link to this laundry set below, but I just really love it. It comes with the bamboo tray as well. So that's that one. Then up here we have some open shelving because I thought it'd be nice for a bit of plants. Well, fake plants because let's be honest, I'll probably kill a real plant. Um, and some decor and stuff like that. So in here is just a little tub for everything I need for nappy changes. So I've got like wipes, nappy cream and stuff like that. It just keeps everything kind of away and over here we have one of my favorite candles this is blossoms by ash you guys if you follow me on instagram you know that i'm obsessed with her candles so that is that one there and i'll give you guys i've got a discount code for her stuff below um, this is coconut and lime and she also has a clean cotton candle and scent as well like with diffusers and her room sprays this is her other room spray there but um yeah really really good and then here is my favorite room spray which is blossoms by ash again this is the coconut and lime one and i also use the clean cotton in the linen closet upstairs as well now i got this little fake plant this is i got this from home time i just really liked how it didn't look super green and fake so yeah i got that one one day i will try to have real plants and then up here i have another tub which just has um, the Zono spray, which kills any germs in the air. And then I've also got Febreze, which is what I like to spray on the couches as well. So I just keep it all down here because I find it a lot easier. So that's that one. That's what I keep in that little tub. And then it's pretty boring stuff, just like tissues and stuff. So that's the open shelf there. Over here, we've actually got a drying rack, which I love because especially with certain clothes like knits and stuff, I don't want to pop in the dryer. I'll just hang it up here and let it air dry um, by itself. So it's coming really handy, especially in summer. I can just hang everything and it will just dry by itself. Um, and then obviously we've got the black tapware. I do get asked a lot about my thoughts on the black tapware. And honestly, it is the best. It doesn't mark 
and if we ever did move again i'd always have like a gold or a black tap because chrome just i don't know it always looks a bit dirty so that's that one i got this tap from high groves as well really affordable this bench top is caesar stone and it was like a concrete look they have newer ones out now which actually a lot nicer but this is the one that they had at the time so now i'm going to move on to organization in the cupboards so in this cupboard i've used the variera tubs from ikea to organize everything um i use these tubs everywhere it's in my pantry it's upstairs in the linen closet like they're just really versatile so we've got laundry which is self-explanatory we've got like you know your laundry bags um vanish nappy sand and any stain sprays and stuff like that i keep in here over here is baby wipes, obviously need baby wipes. Um, and then I've got two tubs of cleaning, which is stuff like your dental wipes, um, anything like that. So just extra cleaning products we need, I pop in there. And then up the top, we have lint rollers, <laughs> which people think is a bit funny, but in our old house, we used to always lose the lint rollers. So I was like, let's just have a full tub of them and then we'll never have to worry about it. And then up the top left, we have ironing, which honestly I don't use that much. It's all about convenience in this house. And if it needs to be ironed, I don't usually buy it. <laughs> so that's that cupboard there. Um, I honestly find this super functional. I love it. We never lose anything. Whereas in the old laundries, we lose a lot of stuff, especially the lint rollers. So that's that cupboard there. Again, the labels are Little Label Co. And this is font seven or nine. I'll pop it below. I can't even remember. But what I love about these labels are because they're vinyl, if you ever do want to change them, you can just peel them off really easily to say like obviously with baby wipes we're probably not going to need that one forever but i can just peel it off and get a new label for it all right in this end cupboard this is for our dog lily <laughs> it's got the two very arid tubs on the top and bottom for dog supplies so anything like her jumpers or collars or leads and stuff that goes up there down here is dog treats which is pretty self-explanatory and then this tub I actually got from Kmart and that's where we keep her dog food. They might actually have a smaller version of this too. Um, so yeah, it does come in really handy. So that's that one. Now I want to show you guys this. I'm actually obsessed with dried arrangements at the moment. Um, this is um, by Sonny and Willow. She makes the most gorgeous dried arrangements. Like it doesn't even do it justice in real life. It's so pretty. Um, so that's that one there. So with these, obviously they don't die. They'll just stay like that forever. It's so good. Another Blossoms by Ash Diffuser. What's this one? This one is Coconut and Lime. So my favorite scents from Blossoms by Ash is Coconut and Lime, Clean Cotton, and Japanese Honeysuckle. Those are my favorites. Two down here. So in here we keep nappies and toilet paper. So these are the largest size of the Cougus tubs from Ikea. They do come with a lid as well, but I just took the lid off because it's easier. Um, so yeah, you can fit like a lot of toilet paper and stuff in there. Yeah, I think I usually fit one and a half lots of toilet roll packs in there. Up here we have nappies. Having them both like right near each other has been really handy. And then over here we have tissue boxes and I usually keep back up paper towel and they're just swimming nappies. Love the Cougars tubs if you need to store like bigger products. Once the girls are out of their nappies, I'll also make this a paper towel tub and peel that label off. So that's that one there. Now, when we built this house, I really wanted um, integrated washing baskets. But because that was under the sink, you couldn't obviously do it there. And then with this, it would pull out and hit the toilet. So to solve that issue, I got this little Kmart washing basket. I just made sure it was low enough that it would fit under the sink. And that's literally where I just throw all our washing in. We also have washing baskets in the upstairs toilets, but having this downstairs has made it a lot easier. So yeah, just find a washing basket that fits um, under the sink if you can, if you don't have integrated washing baskets. Now on Instagram, I do tend to share a little like washing I don't even know it's not even a hack but this is just what I do um so on our on our washing machine there's like a delayed start timer so what I do is every night I'll pop it on so then it, I'll delay it for like nine hours and then the load is ready for like when I wake up in the morning and I just pop it in the dryer or out to dry so you literally like turn it on and then you just put it on for like eight hours or whatever it's so good you can also do this if you're about to go to work so you can like make it start in 10 hours and then obviously by the time you get home it'll be finished so that's just a little thing i do with our washing and it makes me like keep on top of it a lot easier as well 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please just comment them below and I'll make sure I answer them. Don't forget to subscribe and also let me know what you would like for next week's video. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you next week. Bye.